we know that women have far less access to the internet than men, um, that they are far less likely to own a mobile phone than men. You know, when, when new technologies, even things like sort of digital cameras come along, it's, it's the boys in the community who get to play with them and to an experiment and to use them and not the girls. So when you extrapolate that into what does this mean for the future, not just in terms of the access piece, but in terms of what it means in terms of the level of control and creativity and ingenuity that women and girls are getting to exert, the situation becomes really alarming and we, you know, we, we can extrapolate the, the negative impacts on gender equity. So we felt it was a really important issue to surface. I think people think of it as this kind of side issue. You know, maybe it matters to US women, you know, high achieving US women, but it doesn't really matter globally. And it became very apparent to us. It matters to all of us and it's a critical concern for all of us. And I think when you bring to girls, especially this lens around how could the world look different in the future, that really energizes and engages them. There's been a, there's been a lot of conversation about, you know, is, is the kind of brand of STEM sort of off-putting to girls? And if you frame it as being around sort of creative technology challenges to really pressing social issues, they're far more likely to be engaged. And in fact, just a month ago, we ran this global girls hackathon with girls um, in countries all over the world, asking them to, to solve for kind of how do, how do girls get access to safe spaces, safe information, safe places to exchange resources, um, and to ask for help. And the level of passion from those girls was just just amazing. So part of also what excites me is how do we engage this next generation in imagining the future and using technology to do that.